The Instagram algorithm. I feel like we've all seen so many videos on YouTube explaining how to use the algorithm to get more likes and followers. But today I'm actually exposing the step-by-step -step guide on how you can use it to grow your profile. And here's some results to prove. Together we've gotten 512 explore page visits that's translated into over 29,000 impressions. I've done all this using these three steps I'm about to reveal to all of you guys. All you gotta do is stay to the very end to learn how. Welcome to my channel, my name is Jade, and hey, thanks so much for clicking on today's video. So, I know who you are, kind of, kind of I'm, I'm assuming I know who you are. Maybe you're someone who wants more followers, more likes, and at the end of the day, we want to build a brand out of our name. And maybe you believe in your content, but you're like, hey, Jade, um, why am I not getting the engagement I want? So the explore page, which is basically the middle tab, I hope you know what the explore page is, but the explore page has recently updated. I really want to dive in how you can actually use these new features. And the beauty of it is, I've, I've been there guys. If you're new to this channel, I'm actually a 17 year old high school dropout and I've built many businesses on top of social media. And as I've been coaching and consulting with these brands, I've been traveling as well. So currently I'm in Paris and the background's kind of funky. That's why before I've been traveling, I've literally remembered looking on my profile saying, what the fuck, I'm not getting any likes. And I've soon to realize that it's actually not about sometimes how bad your content is. Sometimes it's not enough distribution and awareness. So that's why you're not getting the likes and views you're looking for. Give this video a like if you're excited to jump right in this video and grow on Instagram. All right guys, so currently I'm in Paris. Okay, but like, let me just show you where I'm filming. This is my Airbnb. It's at, like, literally has the coolest things and also the weirdest things. We got that. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't, yeah. There's like this really dope ass goat. And I really wanted to put that in the video, but it probably really distract you guys. So I'd like crop it out. As I said, I'm currently traveling and I'm in Paris and I'm pretty sure this is like the city of love or whatever. But dude, I just realized Instagram and social media is basically flirting with your audience. For example, if the audience was like a prospective significant other, like a boyfriend or a girlfriend, anything in between. Like when you see a photo of someone and then you like it, that's like flirting. Like you're putting your first interaction with that person. And then later on over to more time, like you go on your more first date, you watch a few videos, you watch maybe one of their Instagram stories, and then you seem to realize a little more about them. Like you're feeling a little um, wild and you leave a comment on that person's post and soon you become a fan, a follower, and someone who just really loves this user. So that's flirting on Instagram. And I've realized that if you're not flirting with your viewer and you're just putting out content and you're punching them in the face and you're saying like this photo and you're really aggressive, most of us in the dating world would probably be like, yo, what the frick, Carl? Like I'm not ready to marry you yet, right? like you go on more dates. So these dates are what we're gonna talk about. You typically need seven to 11 interactions before someone hits the follow button. Don't be so hard on yourself. A lot of you guys ask me, hey Jade, how come I have viewers, I have likes, but no one's converting into followers? It takes time. Just like dating, marriage, I, <laughs> what do I know? In sales and marketing, it's all about creating rapport and building relationships and then they'll convert. Be patient with everything I'm about to say. Okay, so there's three things. They're all with the letter R. Link below the article I found this upon you guys can check it out but the first r is the relevancy so instagram explore page kind of looks like this now there's a niche explore what does niche explore mean instagram is categorizing you based on your interests so now you can get more targeted followers a lot of you guys are saying that you're not getting an engaged audience and it's probably because you're audience doesn't give a shit, which means you don't have the right profile and the right traffic. So with the niche export page, you guys can be more relevant to an audience. With one single tab, you can go from like fitness to like food. So how do you get on the export page in general? So niche explore is all about incorporating hashtags into your posts, but making sure that you are being super relevant to the audience. For example, it's harder to be relevant when you're trying to be broad, I'm trying to be less sporadic with my posts. People seem to like more videos, then I'm gonna do more videos. Remember guys, data is everything. Look at your old posts and analyze what's the highest performing. All you want to do now is narrow down and make that for the next 30, 60, 90 days. Trust me, you'll see crazy results. I've done before on YouTube especially and comment below if you want to see a whole video on how to kind of get on YouTube trending page. I was recently a creator on the rise. Maybe I'll do that in a later video. Just let me know. Make sure you guys understand that you have to analyze the data you have. If you have no data, watch some of my other videos on how to start from scratch and see what people like. And for the next 30, 60, 90 days, just milk that content and you're going to be able to hit the explore page more often. Just think about it. If you're getting a 
100 profile visits every single day about the same content, this is flirting, right? People get for who you, people understand who you are and they're not confused. Is she a fitness influencer? Is he a musician? Like, I don't know what this model is. You need to be very targeted in what you post and all you gotta do is just look at your past data. The second thing is all about relationship. Now, again, maybe I'm just single as fuck, but I'm taken by my goals and hustle. Anyway, like you're not gonna date someone if you don't have that one-on-one -on -one interaction. A lot of you guys are making a mistake and just kind of being general. There's a huge difference saying, hey, I love you guys, and saying, yo, Jessica, DM her, I love you so much, thank you. I've literally sat on DMs for so long because I value that one-on-one -on -one relationship. You guys mean a lot to me. Instagram just announced that they're trying to actually get rid of those random spam posts. That's why they have an algorithm. If you think the algorithm is bad, you're a loser. The reason why is the algorithm is trying to work for you. It's trying to get you the targeted audience. So don't be pessimistic. A lot of you guys are complaining. So what does that mean for you? If Instagram's trying to limit the spammy posts and kind of things that you don't want to see, make sure you trick Instagram thinking, thinking the follower is your friend. I've actually tested this out and it's weird. Seriously, open up Instagram. And if you go on the first post, it's typically a friend of yours or someone you've recently interacted with. The reason being is because Instagram as a business just wants you to keep your eyes on the platform. So they're only going to promote things that are relevant to you. The way you can trick it and a really cool hack is literally by liking and commenting on everyone who liked your post. So it will trick Instagram thinking that, hey, this profile is my friend, like in real life. At the end of the day, yes, it's a good business move, but you also need to thank the people that support you because there's longevity and having a loyal follower. All right, the third one is all about recency. Recency is timing. How often you post and basically how consistent you are. I think a question I got also was like, Jade, do I have to post every single damn day? The answer is no. It's all about being consistent and making a schedule that fits you. Think about it like this. If you're dating someone or you're trying to talk to them on Snapchat, you're trying to get to know how familiar they are. Last year when I was in high school, there was this boy, okay? And we would be Snapchatting and suddenly he would just like disappear and then come back and like act like nothing's happened. And that's weird. Right? Or there's something wrong. With it. Anyways, back to the flirting analogy. You need to be consistent because in order to create a trust, you need to be consistent. Just ask yourself, how much time can I spend on this Instagram thing? If it's 30 minutes a day to further prove your brand, that's all that you can do. Perfect. Personally, because I'm traveling and I always have client work and I'm pretty busy with my company, I just post three times to four times a day. Half of them being educational captions. You guys can check me on Instagram here. And half of them being more about my personality and my life. So that's what I do personally for me. I I believe everyone's different, so find what works best for you. All right, guys, so I wanna end this video off with one last thing. I want you to pause for a second. We just exposed to grow on Instagram, you need to be relevant, you need to have a relationship, you need to be recent, and let this sink in. All these tips will not work at all if you don't have the right content. I kid you not, you could be doing everything right, but maybe it's just not the right timing where you're not forming the right product to give, not formulating the right message, and it takes time to build that, so don't be so hard on yourself. And if you wanna know more, I actually have a few videos on how to create more viral content link that below it's a good video to follow up after I just want to explain to you sometimes you could be doing everything right you guys have to realize like I've been doing this social media thing for like seven years and it's just since last year literally one year ago I was in your guys' shoes it's apparently like back to school season I'm not going back to school I dropped out of high school and like I've, I've been seeing how social media has been changing my life in the course of one year but it took seven years prior to build the right tools and resources I needed to do that so yes sometimes you're gonna be scared to post you're not gonna be confident all the time and that is okay and I want to reassure you that I'm here for you and I really do care about your guys's brands and journeys we just had a London meetup an Amsterdam meetup and we're about to have a Paris meetup can't wait to just see your faces and hug you like I'm so emotionally like attached to you guys like you guys are my boyfriend I'm that committed to this freaking relationship so if you ever need anything comment below a question I probably will look back at it or the Dharma Nation which is the community here will come back on you we're super supportive and if you're new here i just hope you feel welcome and make sure you hit subscribe on the way out if you want more relevant content on how to grow your brand and just more things about the truth dating advice even i <laughs> i will not do dating advice you guys would actually just go crazy all right guys so thank you so much for watching make sure you check out the description box i'm telling you there's a lot of juicy information and i'm linking everything below i've said in this video so just click just click below. I love you guys so, so much. Make sure you turn on post notifications. Shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner.
comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you want to be the next comment winner, comment below what your thoughts are. I'm about to head out and edit this video, probably grab a croissant and go back on that grind. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I love you so much.